what's up guys um, a little bit of a change of plans this weekend uh, I wasn't <coughs> I had planned to take the boat out today it's a beautiful day um, it's like 60 to 65 degrees sunny um, but we had a meeting we had to go to at noon and then Kelly told me she had something else she had going on this afternoon and she's got other stuff she has to do so boat's not going out because I'm still not comfortable loading and unloading it by myself so we're gonna head back down to the river here it just rained the other day so it's still probably really high uh, but we're gonna change it up a little bit and I'm going to try and hike back in a little bit further uh, I've only taken you guys to the spillway so far so we're gonna try and hoof it back in a little farther to a couple other spots that we've been to before um, and see how we do back there um, don't know if I'll be able to get in there with the water where it is but we're gonna try so stay tuned let's go fishing <laughs> So just that I feared the river is super high um, and they've got the spillway all the way open um, it's almost unfishable up there so uh, like I promised we're gonna hike back here and see if we can find a little calmer water hopefully because otherwise I don't know what we're gonna do so we got to go up and over the tracks and hopefully we'll find some calm water well, it never fails when you're hiking back in deep on the river. Uh, I hope someone got lucky and not raped, but they lost their pants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. But we're going to keep moving. It already doesn't look good. Um, just looking down here, I can see the area that I'm trying to go to. already looks flooded so we'll uh, just keep following this path see where it takes us hopefully not get any ticks and in trying to get through this flooded swampy mess I've just learned that my boots aren't 100% waterproof awesome so I'm sort of stuck um, water gets pretty deep right here you can see it's at least a foot or two deep um, and I'm stuck right here but I need to be over there where those geese are um, doesn't look like it's much better back that way it looks like that's all filled up with water um, so yeah I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do here Hmm. All right, I think we found a way around, but we're gonna have to be very sneaky because we might be trespassing. Um, we're outside their gate, but this is not within the normal high water mark. So, shh. scratch that. Maybe it is. Why are there always tires in the river? I never understand that. So I've done it. I've conquered the impassable area. So we were just over there. Now we're over here. Um, so we'll see if we can find a spot to fish. So every time I think I'm gonna get lucky and get to one of the spots where it opens up, it's all flooded. 
I cannot wait till it dries up a little bit and the river's not in a flood stage. Um, there's like a weird teepee shelter back here. We may go look at that. Uh, but the water is calm right here. Might not be a bad place if we can bust a hole through here. Hopefully we're going to get some fish. I just almost stepped on a mama goose on her nest. That would have been bad. Um, let's see how close we can get. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's, she's probably not very happy with me right now. Let's go see the other eggs. I'm not going to mess with your babies. Check that out. Four giant goose eggs. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I was just going to fish there, but I don't want to piss her off too much. So. Let's find another spot. Well, this isn't a great spot, but it's going to have to do for now. Um, I just don't want to bother that mama near her nest too bad. So we'll set up here. Give her a few casts, see if we can't pull something out. backtrack a little ways here because the spot I was at is absolutely unfishable so um, go back here see if we can't find another place worst comes worst we'll hike back up to the dam and try our luck there even though the water's crazy high so stay tuned all right first cast in a new spot we hooked into a little northern or a must A little northern. Uh, he literally hit it right at the bank. My tackle bag. I literally have been here for like two seconds. A little northern. Relax, dude. We got tore up by something. Hey, hey, hey. I've never been taught the real proper way to handle these guys, so when in doubt, force it out. This is a better fish here. Where's he going? Holy cow. Jesus. This is the biggest fish I've caught this year. I have no idea what it is. Towards me. He doesn't like. No, stay out of the trees. Stay out of the trees. 
another northern. They're stacked up. Oh, I snagged them in the belly. That's why. No. Oh, get out of there. Northerns are stacked up in here. I'll tell you what. These little fellows. Come here, dude. I'm going to try and help you. Snag you right in that fin. So far we've had no takers on the uh, big swim bait. Maybe time to switch back over to a jig head and a uh, small little twister tail because that seems to be uh, very effective back here in this little area that I'm in. Just had some guys walk past me so they've got some pretty large musky out of here so that would make a cool video. It'd be my first Wisconsin muskie, I think. Yeah, and I've only ever caught one other, and that was in Ohio. All right, so we're back to the twister tail on the jig head. No bites on the big swim bait, so. We'll see. northern look at that little feller oh you settle your ass down ah! clean release god I hate northerns they're so fucking slimy Apparently this is where the uh, pike hang out. All right, so what I got here is what is essentially a giant beetle spin. Um, this used to be a cheap spinner bait but when I pulled it out of my tackle box today uh, the skirt came off so I just threw a twister tail grub on it so threw this on the heavy rod let's see if we can uh, hook into something big let's see adjust the brake here eh, it's pretty good lighten it up a little bit a little bit more so if you're using a bait caster with a brake on it you want a nice slow fall if you there we go there it is helps with backlashes
Alright. We're going to head up back towards the dam. Not super productive, but we did catch a couple decent little northerns. And then that last little baby snake. Um, we might fish up here by the dam for a little bit if there's some room. I've been out for uh, about two hours at this point, so we'll see. Uh, got a bit of a hike ahead of me, so I might not feel like fishing after I get there. Plus, my feet are soaked. Um, I don't know if you've ever had your feet in wet boots, but uh, not the most pleasant experience. So we're going to hike out and uh, maybe do a little bit more fishing. We'll see. So after watching some of my videos, I figure I need to do an outro. So uh, we didn't fish the dam. It was wide open. Um, the water was just going to be moving too fast to be fishable. So we hiked all the way back in. Um, that was a warm water outflow for that factory. I'm sure you can see it in some of the shots. Um, caught a couple pike, nothing special. Um, but now we are three for three on fishing videos. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's keep fishing.